Hello everyone, I come to you today with a confession. I've done many Iron Man challenge videos, a lot of them with friends, some of them solo, but the reality is, and people who have followed me for a while may or may not have noticed, no one's called me out on it yet, so I'm gonna do it first, but I have never actually completed the Iron Man challenge as a solo player. I think the closest I've ever gotten to doing so was when I was doing the hardcore Iron Man the very first time, and then I did my Eclipse only series for every moon in preparation to complete the hardcore Iron Man challenge, and then I just never did it because the Iron Man challenges weren't performing as well on my channel as some of the other stuff I was doing. And I was also having a lot more fun doing my collab stuff with my friends and all that, and that's still true today, but I'm finding some time right now to actually send an Iron Man run, a solo one, quote unquote, as intended, so I'm gonna do that right now. Since I haven't done or completed an Iron Man challenge solo, or even attempted one in V50 solo, I'm gonna start numbering my attempts, because I wanna see how many tries it takes for me to actually complete the challenge. I mean, if you've been keeping up with the channel a bit, I uploaded a video of myself, Larry, and Nico completing the Iron Man challenge in the public beta of version 50, but that was also as a trio, not as a solo. I did make the Iron Man challenge to be completed as a solo. Well, okay, no, let's dial that back before we start. Because the original purpose of the Iron Man challenge, apart from the built-in variety, since you have to go to every moon once and in order, is to shorten the amount of time you need to play a complete Lethal Company experience, at least for the experienced people who can survive long enough to go on these like high quota runs and whatnot because the iron man challenge should only take about like two hours whereas a high quota run if you've seen people like red and jimmy and rain like those runs can take up to 16 hours or longer in one sitting and that's just not viable for a lot of people so i wanted to come up with a game mode that you can complete in a shorter amount of time and if you have friends to play it with then that's all the better just want to propose different ways to play the game and regardless if i film it solo or with friends it's really up to you to how you go about doing it yourself whichever brings the most joy to you is the correct way to play lethal company that said i've got to stop the yapping now because i gotta get this run going gotta get this run going it's 3 38 in the morning where i'm at right now and I gotta go to work at 8, so kinda wanna get this filming done and then edit it before it goes up because I have to, with my current work schedule I have to make sure that the video is edited and uploaded, rendered, scheduled, all that to go up by 3pm today and all that has to be done before I go into work at 8. Oh and there's a beehive. I was actually supposed to scan for a beehive before but I was kinda yapping so. Um, looks like we're gonna get a good start for our first- oh! I ran into a pole. <laughs> first I would. I'm gonna take some damage there as a result. What pole did I run into? Is it- hmm, guess we can look at it later. I was supposed to put some text up in the top left to show which uh, Iron Man attempt I'm on, but hopefully I just remember to do that in a little bit. Um. Put this, like, right there, and then I'll just run and grab it. Did I run into that telephone pole? That's cringe. Okay. Um, let's just get this on the ship. 107's really good. Not the best beehive ever, but, you know, take it. Mmm, I might have been able to bring that a little bit closer before dropping it, but it's okay. Anything that gets me a little bit of extra value on experimentation is pretty good. Because for this version of the Iron Man, we're going to want around an average of about 400 per moon. And it's going to be harder to do more than that as a solo player compared to playing with a group of three. So I'm just going to take what I can get here. Fortunately, taking what I can get also entailed taking damage that I wish I didn't take. That's okay too. I actually should have scanned to see how many items I, I can get here. Maybe I'll do it on one of my trips back, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna start main entrance. We're gonna do fire exit later in case I want to play fire exit pipe on the way back. So yeah, that's why we do main entrance first. Okay. Iron Man challenge attempt number one. I s that might be an apparatus room over there. Got a flask down here. 24, not bad. First real item of the Iron Man challenge. The flask. A server, saw a server room over here, that's why I went here first. It's a dead end, which is fine. 
We have we now have two items. That's about loot value 60. Which is good. We'll put it outside real quick. I know it's faster to not do that. But you know what? I'll do it how I want. Okay, it wasn't... Okay, well we're gonna send it inside. Hmm. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that I didn't find it right away. That kind of sucks. Maybe we'll play Fire Exit earlier than I thought. Which is fine too. Um. Because I can always just go back and turn that off later. It was a different tile than I expected anyway. Also, I. I thought that the shovel weight was 16 pounds now, but I guess it's 14. I must have misread somewhere. I think, uh... I think the original weight was 16 pounds. Don't quote me on that, though. Mm. But yeah. For some reason, I thought Pro Flashlight plus Shovel was 21 pounds carry weight. It's actually 19. That's only- that's relevant because... Um... I mentioned... Oh, bike trap. Okay. Where is it? I see a red light on the other side of this, but I think I heard it over here. Oh, we got- okay, it's right there. <laughs> and it's on a timer because it's going off without me even being there, so that's good to know. The ones with the timers aren't as bad to deal with as the ones that aren't on the timer. Or the ones that react to your positioning. Getting a lot of loot rooms, not a lot of loot. Okay, I'll take it. That's now four scrap items. That could very well be five scrap items. That could very well be more than half of the loot on this map already. And I still have a big room to check out. Now that looks like an apparatus room. Okay, I'm just yapping. <laughs> Wait. See if that's worth going to later. A lot of locked doors. No, not a lot of keys. But that's also fine because it limits which ways I can go. And, uh, I don't mind that too much, so long as I actually find stuff. Didn't even know I could open the door from there. That's a kind of a big time save. Um, let's grab these. That looks like a dead end, too. <laughs> don't know why it took me so long to just to verify that. Hello. So, the hoarding bug is the main reason why I bought a shovel for this round. Um, I considered not buying anything other than a flashlight here. And rolling for maps that I don't actually need a shovel to survive. But, um... I think buying a shovel is... What do you have? You have a key. Wow. I'm gonna need that key though. Probably could have left him alive until I needed the key. Because he might have been able to get more stuff. But, uh, okay. But yeah, back on the shovel thing. Um, experimentation. Or, like, if I didn't get the shovel, I'd have a lot less carry weight, so I'd be able to traverse the map a lot better. And I considered just re rolling experimentation until. I got um, an experimentation where I don't really need the um, the shovel to to really prosper, but just the odds of me needing the shovel are so high that I figured I might as well get it. And hoarding bug is one of the re main reasons why I would even need one in the first place. Sorry, I'm like kind of focusing now because there's a lot. That just happened on the screen right now. Got a, got three items now, so I have to consider if I want to take this scrap back in one trip. I have to consider leaving something behind. I also haven't found the apparatus yet, which means it's probably behind. Um, okay, hold on. If we're gonna keep going, we're gonna drop this here. Blast is kind of heavy. Another key. Apparatus is probably behind a locked door. This that's where the main entrance is, probably. 
Hopefully that's the same smoke. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing that the apparatus is for sure. Um, okay, hold on. Let's figure this out. This looks like the main entrance. Are we really upstairs? No, the valve is actually upstairs. That's so not cool. Okay. Okay, well, let's figure this out real quick. Because this is the main entrance. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's a faster route than maybe a different one. Alright, come on. Don't know why you wanted a scrap. Um, that kind of happened in one of my earlier runs too. In the group runs with Larry and Nico. I'm on the other side of X8, I see. The <laughs> third key. Okay, we can just go out the main entrance now. Shoot. Oh, I was, I was gonna say, I don't remember where the V-Type engine is, right here. This is faster. I feel like I'm slow. I, f I feel like this is too slow. I hope I'm wrong. Hmm. Okay. I crouched for a better visibility there, so I can at least see the floor and kind of guide my way based on... Oh shit, okay, I'm... Better go get that... Flask right now and pick what I'm leaving behind. Nah, I think I have to get this. Sorry, the flask isn't worth as much. No. Now we just get the bees. Okay. I also missed a cookie mold cheat. <sighs> okay. Beehives, the pipe's kind of making up for that. Did spend a lot of time in there. The reason why I said the flask wasn't worth it a crazy amount is because getting the flask means I would have to leave either the flashlight or the shovel behind and while they don't have a scrap value on their own the value that i get from having these on my run far outweighs the value of the flask because these two items might be the reason why i'm able to loot longer on assurance or vow this quota that's why i prioritize that and also based on the amount of time i had when i got into the ship i think i don't i don't think i would have been able to make that second trip for the flask and the large axle that I left at the ladder if I went back for it, so I think leaving the flask was a good play. I think um, I might have spent too much time on the interior, maybe? Um, I could have spent less time trying to figure out the steam once I realized where I was and just navigated around it. That's okay. Oh, let's put the, let's put the text up, by the way. Oh, uh, you know what? It's snapping there, so 
gonna stay there. And we are gonna go for the <laughs> assurance jump with the carry weight. Let's open this. Me! <laughs> I haven't done that jump in this update with this carry weight yet. I got a little nervous. Not gonna lie. I almost walked off just there. But we made it. Okay. Downside to this is that there's no downside. What the fuck? <laughs> Insurance is fantastic. Thank you. I should actually go main entrance first. I'm, fr I'm realizing that it's not an, an eclipse only run, so I don't have to play fire exit so soon. But it's no, no regrets. Main entrance is right here anyway, so absolutely no regrets now. Um, that kind of sucks though. Another loot room here. See if I can find a key. If I was able to bring a key back from the previous moon, that would have been super sick. Not a, it's unfortunately not what happened though. Hello. Please find me a key. Hmm. Mr. Hoarding Bug? Yeah, I don't like when the main entrance and fire exit spawn next to each other like that. Because it forces me to play deep into the facility. And the deeper you have to play, the harder it the harder it is to get out of the facility. Hmm. But with stuff like this. I mean, who needs an easier time when... The game's gonna do that to you anyway. Well, maybe we'll let the hoarding bug grab that. Because it will grab it. Oh, turret. Oh, this is the other side already? Oh, key. Cool. Now we can go the other way. What am I doing? Let's not drop it out the main entrance. Let's just go fire exit. I'm actually gonna start running this already. Look here, one inventory, and also check for beehives here. That's like the only real downside. Other than not going main entrance first with that jump. I mean, I could. I could just run the pipe down to the main entrance. Maybe that's the actual play next time. Then I can always play fire exit later in the day. But I don't get to check if there's an easy beehive next to this ship right away. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm like extra cautious on assurance just because of how many times I died to every single one of Assurance's dangers, even though it's a relatively safe planet. I do spend a lot of time here though because of the Iron Man challenges and I think for our moon exclusive runs I've done the most, I've done most of them on Assurance as well. Like I've done multiple Eclipse only Assurance challenges, the 1000 quota Iron Man challenge that I still actually got to continue with Nico at some point, which kind of got pushed back a bit based since um, we've been doing a lot more group collabs. And also, when we were, we were in the peak of that, we were doing, um, what's it called? We were doing more modded Lethal Company stuff, and right as we were about to find more time to go back to it, that's when the public beta for Update 50 came out, so, yeah. But, good news is, when we do continue it, we have a lot more moons to add to that, because our next moon for the Thousand Quota Iron Man is Offense. So that's basically right before we even get to the new stuff, which is cool. Because it'll be offense, then march, then adamants, you know. Didn't skip any moon, so maybe it's a good thing that we didn't go farther than we have so far. Speaking of going farther than we have so far, I'm going to need to go a little bit deeper here on assurance. That was a pretty good start. But I kind of, I want that cookie mold sheet, I want that hairbrush, and if this key leads me to an apparatus room, that would be even better. 
It is about to be 3 p.m. by the time I go into the facility, though, so we should expect some baboon hawks and sandworms soon. Uh, maybe I'll take Lar Larry's new way back or something. Uh, the one that he showed us in the Iron Man challenge. What was that item grab order? Okay. What were we even grabbing in here? There's nothing in here, bro. Okay. Let's go follow him real quick. See what he has. He has a spider. What just spawned in? Probably snarefully, actually. Hmm. Kind of want to go the other way. Oh, shit. Okay. Called it. You know what? It's fine. Snarefully. Spider hoarding book. Oh, wait. This is actually the way that. That was the one that I wanted to unlock. Oh, no. This right here. Because this has guaranteed loot. Nice. Now I just gotta beat the hoarding bug here. Cool. I might... Depending on how much this is, I might be okay with this. It does kinda suck that I don't get the apparatus again. Not the end of the world. Not when the loot's this good. Go get that big bolt. Hope this big bolt doesn't end the run for me. We'll get this key as well. I might as well use that inventory slot. Oh, I hear the... Hmm, I don't have time. I think I heard the apparatus. But even if I got it, that's where all the dangerous monsters are, too. I'm just remembering now. Let's see, Larry. Probably don't even need to do this. There's no danger right now. bringing the shovel with me in case I need to kill a baboon hawk on the way back. I'm also being a little quiet now. Um, being wary of dogs at the moment. It does feel weird ending the run so early in the day. I mean, 8 o'clock isn't really early by any means, but as a solo, I feel like you should stay as long as possible for this, especially when you need an average loot of 400 per moon. I just don't know how much I actually looted just now, but I feel like it was pretty good, which is why I'm returning now and making sure I have all of my equipment ready for Val as well. This relatively safe playstyle has gotten has taken me pretty far. So I'm hoping it continues to do so. We'll see we'll find out sooner rather than later if I'm playing too safe or not. But I mean two apparatuses would have been a world of difference on this loot right here. I'm 578. Imagine if I had two more apparatuses plus 160. Be nearly 800. 
380, yeah, just shy of par here. But that was pretty that was pretty good, I'd say. You know. Maybe we could get started out with some beehives here on Val. I mean we already we're already happy that um okay, you know, We're already happy that there's no weather here. We're gonna B scan for sure. Four beehives. Holy. We might not even have to go inside Val. We are absolutely running bees before anything. There's one right there. Especially if these are worth a lot. Uh, okay. I mean, 97 is not great. But 4 times 97 is. It's almost 400 on its own before I have to even go into the facility. I have to be careful here with the slopes. Oh, uh, we're gonna go this way. I don't know if I had enough stamina to outrun the bees if I just did the ladder route, so we're gonna go this way instead. I feel like I should keep going instead of committing to this beehive. I should have left to find a different one. But. Okay. There's another one. <laughs> Not entirely what I had in mind when I said that, but... Okay. 97, mostly secured. Wow. Um, that... That actually wasn't very good that I took damage there. Because if I'm gonna get a lot of beehives, I'm gonna need to be able to take a decent amount of damage. I'm gonna take a quick peek over here to see if it's worth coming back here. I don't think I... I don't know if I should try to secure more than three, because I'm not confident in my ability to secure all three of them upon takeoff. Or, I mean, more than three. I think three is even pretty tight. Yeah. Okay. We'll get it if it's on the way to the facility, but I think I'd... Now I'm gonna pivot over into getting scrap as well. Um, I've done my fair share of hive running on Val, and I'm actually I don't like the fact that I have to go uphill here. Okay, only took one extra tick of damage than I would have liked to have take taken, but I think that's not awful. I'm not going to take the key on this run. I'm going to take the key on a place like Offense. Where um, I'm going to play Fire Exit, especially now that the... Well, the Fire Exit jump as it was in previous versions was patched. Okay, well, I see the third beehive now. So obviously I'm going to get it. Especially with how close it is to the ship. Because now we have almost 300 loot without even trying. Barely. Again, we're gonna do it the safe way here. It's, it's easier, because if I jump by the ladder and I hit the rock, then I just have to kind of... I either take a tick of damage, and that's not very good, or I have to reset anyway. Oh, shit, my finger slipped. I'm gonna have to take a lot of damage here. Okay, now just a quick peek into the facility. Now we don't have to play as crazy, and we shouldn't. Because of how much damage I took. But we can't afford to not play it. Not at least for one inventory. There's the fourth beehive. But I'm not confident I can live, <laughs> especially with all the extra damage I took. 
Okay, spike traps can't spawn at main entrance anymore, so don't have to worry about that. Okay, I kind of don't want to go too far. If I get Bracken, dude. Oh God! Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Well, that just scared me out of my boots. I'm not even wearing any. Well, I'm not wearing them anymore. If I were wearing boots, they would not be on. Okay, we'll get a loot room over here. Bottles, we'll take it. And... Nice. I think that's it. that's it. That's the inventory. Okay. And we get to see the Bracken, so that's good too. Because now we can just leave. I'm a little worried that this inventory might be a little heavy. But as long as I don't get gianted here, we'll be okay. I don't know, man. I've been gianted up here a few times. I have the shovel in case baboon hawks decide to spawn. I'm more worried about baboon hawks. I mean, I guess I just don't have to look at them, is what I've been told. And I've had some success with that approach so far. But if they outnumber me, then I don't know how well that strategy works. And I'd rather have a fighting chance to survive multiple baboon hawks than not. And the shovel is what gives me that fighting chance. I also want to see a second quota, at least, you know? I left the flashlight because it's slightly cheaper than the shovel. Yikes. It didn't cl No. If I... Okay, if I didn't miss that... I didn't grab the bell, I would have made it. Maybe I should have grabbed the third beehive first and then tried to adjust, because I was still in the ship. I haven't had to do that in a while. I don't really have enough people, but you know. That's kind of taking off the rest of solo play. And... Yeah, not every run's gonna be perfect. You just gotta keep sending. Putting attempt number one next to this kind of removes a lot of pressure, to be honest. Because I really haven't done a lot of Iron Man runs solo. I don't know if I've even done a regular Iron Man solo, ever. Because when I introduced the challenge, I did it with a duo run with Nico. I, it was originally going to be a solo run. And then uh, Nico happened to be available to play that day. And at that time, and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to say no to playing with a friend just because I want to shoot a video or do a content idea. Um, so I said yes, even though I didn't think it would be as compelling as a multiple player challenge. But I'm glad I did it anyway, because then I got to stick to my principles and the, the video performed all anyway and kind of got me to where I'm at today. And. Uh, yeah, it was kind of cool to see, and Nico got to be a part of that. That's, act that's actually the reason why Nico started even making Lethal Company videos as well. Because when we did that, he didn't- he wasn't even uploading Lethal Company videos back then. I'm not even sure if he's- No, he- he did at least record his perspective back then. Um... Because... Even though he wasn't uploading his own videos yet, he- he understood, like, the assignment, at least content-wise. And that, um having his perspective would be valuable to someone, even if it was just me. So that was cool. Um, yeah. We're gonna see how much I actually got. I don't know why I got all one-handed items here. Whatever. Oh, okay. I was moving the coffee mug. Forgot to put it back. This whoopee cushion is super valuable too, by the way. 
very surprised to see that value on that. Okay, selling everything. So that way we can get that nice and juicy overtime bonus. Does make me sad that I'm one beehive short. Or two even. But you see how tight the timing was? Even with just the three beehives? I would have had to been perfect on the four. I have no idea, like, I want to say I have no idea how Psycho did that with four um, beehives. It obviously was a different patch. But even then, still pretty insane stuff. We will buy a flashlight. Let's check the store, see what anything on Whoa, Pro Flashlight on sale for five. Question is, do I just take that at face value and buy one flashlight or do I buy a couple? I think I'm gonna buy a couple. Let me buy two more. <laughs> that way I pay the same amount as I would for a regular flashlight, but now I have three Pro Flashlights. And I think that'll be good. Next, uh, this next quota is gonna be a lot harder than the first one that I just did. We're gonna be going to offense, march, and adamants if all things go well. And I might just have to leave equipment, you know? And if I know that I can leave a flashlight and still do well in the next moves, I think that's okay. I think the shovel is most gonna be most useful on um, offense anyway. Because march, I might not have to commit too hard to each entrance. And adamants, I'm just I have a lot more to worry about than if I have a shovel or not. That said, shovels are really good for dealing with tulip snakes. And I know I asked before in a previous run if tulip snakes contribute to the power level, outdoor power level, and I don't think they do because they considered daytime entities. So in the same bracket as like manticoils, uh, locusts, bees, and those don't affect uh, like outdoor enemy spawns. Get a 232 profit quota for the second one. Kind of low, I think. So that's good. Low quotas are good for this challenge because it'll help complete the final challenge or the final quota of the Iron Man, which you have to complete a day early, which means you're selling at 77%. So the lower your final quota, the better. So that was something good about our group Iron Man challenge in version 50. Our second quota was only 196. And, uh,. I think that helped contributed to lower profit quotas for the rest of the run as well. So, yeah, we're gonna go to offense. We're gonna try to hit this fire exit pipe jump. Kind of missed it of quite a few times lately. I don't know, I get stuck for some reason. But not when it matters. <laughs> I guess when I play with friends, you know, my, my guard goes down quite a bit. Because I know that I can make a lot more mistakes and even just play main entrance for once in my life. Um, but playing fire exit here is a lot more crucial now than ever because I don't know how to get up here without an extension ladder now. I have someone linked a video on how to do the offense jump in version 50 and I've seen multiple people say they've done it but it's taking them a long time. But I don't have like that kind of time to spend on a parkour in a solo, in a solo run. If I'm spending like in multiple in-game hours trying to get up here, then I might as well have just gone to the main entrance and I would have probably been able to take a whole inventory and back in the same amount of time it would have taken me to do the whole song and dance. Get our first apparatus room over the run, but it has no apparatus so that hardly ever counts. We get main entrance right here anyway. So we get another one of these deep generations, which isn't fantastic for the run. But, you know, okay. Make sure we don't get got by this thing. But we also can't not grab that tattered metal sheet, unfortunately. We can forgo it for now, though. Double tattered. Not really what I want, per se. You know what? We'll put these out here for now. 
gets a lot faster. Might even just run it all the way back, to be honest. Did I r run under one? What was that? Why did I get the sound effect? Hmm. Yes, like 71? Why are these so heavy? Okay. I will run this back now. Look, like 82 pounds worth of loot. Yeah. This has to go sooner rather than later. And I still ha I should still have time to be able to run back to the fire exit safely. Or my main entrance, rather. I'm not going to attempt the fire exit. I didn't watch that video. And I don't think it's worth the time risk to go do that right now. I'm going to get a bit of a speed boost going down this right now, so I'm going to take advantage of that. But walking uphill with this carry weight is kind of atrocious. Might have to adjust the path back in order to get there faster. I don't I don't think it's faster to walk up this little slope than it is to just kind of zigzag as needed. Hmm. Not a fantastic inventory, but an inventory nonetheless. Also, I saw that for the first three moons, we collected 9, 12, plus I think it was around 50 overtime bonus, so 950 or 960 something. Minus 15 for the pro flashlights that I bought. So we're at like just under a thousand for the first three moons, which is slightly under par. It was like a, ideally it would be around 1200, but those were also the least lucrative moons in the game, not counting Embryon. So I'm hoping for better um, rolls here. Offense isn't giving me the most promising um, numbers though doesn't have the most promising potential here. Okay, well, whatever's here, I'm gonna kill it. Alright. It was gonna be whatever came out. Unfortunately. Oh! Wait, I don't like this. I didn't really have a route to fight that spider. Okay, but I do now. I almost died to that. Wow. That was almost a run over. I wanted to get away from the mines and the turret and the spike trap before fighting that spider. I'm not sure why it decided to hit me there. But let's not think about it too hard. I think we can just be satisfied that we didn't die there. But a lot of two-handed items once again. It scanned for quite a bit though, 123. But just a bit deeper here. Because I'm gonna have to make- oh, I hear apparatus. There's a two, another one-handed item. I might leave the shovel here for the stop sign. I think I'm just gonna have to... I don't really like it. This is also good enough, I think. But if I can come back for this, that would be fantastic. Okay, we just gotta not die here. I ran under that spike trap, which is crazy. It's a timed one, though. So it's not as crazy, I guess.
Rage. Okay. We're good. Oh, the spider's just at the very end of this hallway. Okay. Wow. Barely any time. Do I have time for this? What am I even going back for? Oh, I if I wanted to really go back, I should have brought the stop sign. I guess I can try and grab that 21 engine. That's going to be like my compromise. If I really wanted to go deeper, I should have brought more stuff. We're gonna make it to March. Damn, bro, the timing's just so tight on everything. I don't know if I made had enough time to run back for that other engine. It would have been close. If I like optimized my pipe route a little bit, I might have made it. But I mean, very clearly, did not have it optimized. Not quite the 400 I was looking for, unfortunately. And still haven't found a single apparatus. I was close on that one, but we don't have a shovel anymore. Um, kinda just gotta hope that March isn't bad for us. Stormy is not the greatest. Yeah, that's actually not good. Um, I'm also not sure if I got any beehives, because I was a little late to the scan. But we're gonna play main entrance. Um, we're gonna go this way. 
just to see if there's any beehives that spawn on this side. And then we'll go around that way so I can hit the fire exit on the way back. And then um, I'll hit the two back fire exits when I'm closer to the ship. Hopefully we can just leave like a key or something here. So that way the lightning stays conducted on that instead of wanting to get on me. Okay, we got a loot room right here right away, so that's good. Get a double loot room even. Candy worth quite a bit too. They're running right through real quick. Feels weird not having um, a shovel or anything. Okay. Two metal objects there. I think I'm just going to leave the tattered metal sheet, to be honest. Um, so that way if I get stormy in the future, then I don't have to worry about metal or anything. Okay, I think this is a good enough inventory for this. And we can still check the other entrances instead of committing too deep into this one. So we're going to drop this first. Over there so I don't get electrocuted. This is the only conductive item now. Let's see if tree strat still works. Okay. It's not going inside the tree. That's my indicator. So maybe maybe that's been patched also. Okay. Now I can go check this real quick while that strikes. Another fire exit. I'll consider taking that actually. Don't have mimics on, obviously. Another loot room. Locked, unfortunately. See if I can find a key here real quick. Another loot room even. This time I am going a little deep, because um, I thought I missed something there. Because there's two fire exits next to each other. Mm. But I don't like this, unfortunately. We're going to go see where that other fire exit leads to. Hopefully somewhere nice. And maybe we get a... What's it called? Well, one, we get a shorter way back to the ship for sure. Like every time. Let's see which one this is. Okay, yeah, that's literally the closest one to the ship. We're gonna grab our stuff over here. Oh wait, what the heck? We're gonna grab our stuff over here and go through the fire exit with it. Although that does defeat the purpose of looking for the beehive this way. I think it's okay. Something just spawned in. We'll see if we see any beehives on this side. I'm unfortunately not on pace though. Definitely slow here. Or not getting enough loot. But March is tough because it's such a big map too, and if you don't get lucky with loot, then kinda boned. I also can't commit very hard 
because of this particular this specific reason here. Like, look how long it's taking me to take this inventory back. And now Tulip Snake is coming to harass me. I don't know if it saw me or if it's just patrolling that way, but yeah, there was a Tulip Snake in the distance. Good to see that they're on March, though. Bring that in just a little bit. We're gonna at least grab the, those two items that I left back there. And then take a quick peek at the other fire exit, the only one I haven't looked at yet. Even if it's a little bit risky now. We'll see how long it takes me to take this back though. Have the big bolt out. Sucks that the tree tech doesn't work, or at least, or like I'm doing it wrong or something. If I were able to stick the bolt inside the tree, then it, the lightning would strike the tree. But now, either I'm doing it wrong, it only works on some trees, or it's been patched out like a lot of the rest of the cheese in the game, which is fine. Makes Stormy a lot more dangerous, though. So. There's a baboon hawk. Actually a giant too, so I have to go towards the baboon hawk. Might have to let this one go. Or just run for the ship right after this. I think I'm just gonna send it now. I also can't really go back there anymore because of the giant. Okay, let's just move this over here. Yeah, let's just keep going. <laughs> not the greatest value, not gonna lie. But maybe we get lucky on a different map somewhere. Maybe we just get like a fantastic rend or something. Because we are on pace to go to rend. 170 is bad. Okay. Like even for regular Iron Man standards, 1000... Well, actually... No, I'd be pretty okay on regular Iron Man pace. So I think... Maybe we're not as bad as I think. Adamance is regular. That's like the best I could ask for, I think. Now, what could really make Adamant's um, good for me is if I get some beehive. And some beehives that are easy to run, too. Got two beehives. Then they're both next to each other right there. I don't know if it's worth it. I think I'm going to go for the main entrance first, because that's fire exit anyway. The problem with them being right there is that I ri oh hello is that I risk rampant bees. Oh god. Okay. Well, this isn't good. Take me a little higher, please. Oh, that's too high. That's too high. Oh, perfect. I thought I thought I was dead. I thought they took me above the facility there. That would have sucked. I jumped so I can go a little bit higher. I think that actually propels you upward if you jump with them on top of you. Don't know if it was the play, but it's the play that I made. my least favorite map in the game by the way. I think that's general consensus as well. General consensus is that Adamance is pretty awful. 
That or Embryon. But Embryon's not really meant to be taken crazy seriously to begin with. Um, let's just... We play Fire Exit now. I think the play with main entrance is to kind of do main as fast as you can. So that way you don't have to risk your way back. Right now. Oh my god. Let's see if we can get a lift back. Definitely behind pace. <laughs> I think we'll be okay, and we'll like at the pace I'm going at right now. We'll like as long as I live, I'll be able to make it all the way to Embryon. It's just whether or not I'll be able to afford Artifice. Also, if I make it back to the ship with these guys on me, uh oh, oh shoot. Okay, I can do this. What? Why are you in the ship? Bro... I didn't know baboon hogs can go in this ship. <laughs> That's not cool. See, now I'm just like dead. Basically almost dead. Wait, what am I supposed to do with that? Holy 12 o'clock, bro. Okay, let's try to run beehives, I guess. I think I'm just gonna let both of them- I'm just gonna let the bees go rampant. Make this jump with the beehives and then make it back. It's- there's no rule that you have to let the bees go back to the hive between runs. The only rule is that you can't- you shouldn't die to them. The only rule that- 54? That's so ass. Hold on. I mean, I can't be that mad, because I got some pretty good beehive RNG prior to this, so... We actually get an apparatus here? Holy smokes. Okay. Please don't kill me. This isn't the way back, is it? Yes, it is. The only thing is, I got some beehives in the way. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna come back for each one individually. I think if I go the other way, I'm dead. God, no! <laughs> oh, I'm just dead right there. Okay. Thank you, Baboon Hog. Bringing me to critical injury. Oh, well. I guess this is how attempt number one ends. We end it on adamant. Um, I think it was reset material anyway because especially because of that performance on March and then the beehives not being worth very much also wasn't very good unfortunately but we make it I mean we make it to adamants but we're not gonna make it past adamants we just failed to meet the profit quota here but even if we were able to meet the quota like uh we wouldn't be able to afford to go to rend and even if we were able to go to rend dine would be even harder to afford and so on and so forth with Titan, Embryon. Embryon might maybe not so much because if I somehow make it there, then I'm collecting loot at a rate where 150 cost isn't going to be all that bad, but Artifice for 1500 is a tall order. So, yeah. That'll be it for Iron Man attempt number one. I would like to stream my future Iron Man attempts, but I'm not going to promise anything just yet because depending on how my work schedule is, I might just have to do them off stream as well because with the job plus YouTube I'm basically working 70 to 80 hours a week and I'm just trying to make it happen that's not a complaint or anything that's just a statement of fact I suppose nothing I'm not used to what I was doing when I started the YouTube channel and it's what I'm gonna do now as well if anything I hope it inspires people to do their own channels or do whatever it is they want to do even if they have a full-time job like 
Because I've had a lot of people say, like, I'd do what you'd do if I wasn't occupied with other stuff, if I didn't have this job, if I could focus on it full time. And uh, yeah, now I'm just going to do both. Basically, have two full time jobs and make it work. So yeah, subscribe. If you want to see more Iron Man stuff, let me know if you want to see the Iron Man streams. They'll most likely be weekend ones, if anything. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next attempt, in attempt number two, and so on and so forth. Peace.